Oh boy. Here we are. Little Nightmares 2 with hopefully the finale. So. Last time was a bit of a mixed bag, admittedly. Um, but we got through chapter 4 and reached the 5th chapter where we encountered some weird fuck shit puzzle-wise. Because the puzzles are truly puzzling and they're coming to get me. Thankfully, uh, my friend... Oh, hey, see you Oh, you're, you're wel <laughs> welcome back. You're just in time for the, the start of the stream. So, like I was saying last time, we got through the end of the chapter 4 and ended up in... This fuck fest. Now, thankfully, uh, the the friend of mine that's played this game gave me. They are a bit tricky. Yes. Now, the good thing is, my friend gave me a bit of a hint. Uh, he told me that uh, the puzzle here in chapter five is audio based, which means I need to rely on hearing. And considering I wear a headset while streaming and I talk with commentary. That's a little bit of a problem, so I've cranked the volume up and I'm like, wearing my headset very weird. Because from what I was being told, I need to listen to music playing to know what... Uh... door to go through? I think he said if I just stand at the doorway. Right, I think that's the music? Unless that's background, hold on, let me stand at the other door for... a comparison. Yeah, I don't hear anything from that door. But then if I go and stand at this door... Yeah, I can hear like what sounds like a kind of... Music box sort of chime sound effect. Which means, uh, apologies to chat, but I'm not going to be the most talkative in this area. It's going to be... Uh, a bit sporadic, because uh... I do got to like listen out. So what, I'll go through this door again? But then I hear the music box, and then if I go up here... Well, there's no music this time, so it is this one? You got this? Yeah, I hear the music here, so I'll go th through... And then... Oh, okay. Now we're in somewhere different. Right, no music. No music. Uh, is this an openable door? Because I don't want to get being boozled. No, I don't think. Yeah, I hear music coming from that door. And then if I go to this door. Yeah, okay, so it's definitely this one. Right. Okay, I'm so glad I got that hint, because I would have never, if, especially with the headphones on, I never would have, like, figured that out. Like, headphones and me doing commentary, eh, uh, do I... Do I, eh, uh, accuse it as, like, what is this, like, anti-streaming puzzle, or anti-streamer puzzle, um... Hold on, was there music coming from that door? I've, I've got trust issues. See, I've, I've come to have trust issues with this game, so I'm very cautious about it. Right, I hear music, I'll go ahead. Oh, hold on, can I push that door? Oh, 
Oh fuck, right, eh... Uh, I mean it's open now I guess, but eh... Uh, okay, I wasn't supposed to do that. Also, I don't know, because I was just listening to the, oh, obviously, the thing there, and it's like, is that the... Yeah, this is chapter 5, yeah, because we finished chapter 4 eh, last stream, killed the TV guy. Yeah, it is, um... Yeah, this is a mind fucking. I'm glad I got the hint between streams, or I would never have figured this out on my own. So here, and then. But yeah, it's the thing I was noting, um, I would have helped if, you think, yeah, to be fair, I thought that, because, cause yeah, because when I started this game, I, I had, like, one friend who's played Little Nightmares 2 before, so they were, like, the Reliance, uh, like, between streams, just because they're not available at the time when I do the stream, but they're, like, my between stream help, uh, but then you appeared at CLO and, uh, you just ended up being the pleasant surprise and the, the super help and if uh, okay let, let's be honest you've probably helped this uh, little stream project go a, a bit smoother than it could have otherwise I mean I'm, I'm just saying without you who knows I might have still been stuck at that fucking bin puzzle because what even right there's doors down there um Oh, is that grabbable? Oh, well done, Mono. You were onto something. Now let me check all these door frames. But you know, uh, anyway, let me actually get back on topic. Um, you still may get stuck when you meet someone later on. Oh uh, yeah, because I'm guessing we obviously, you know, another chapter, another boss time. Which, uh, yeah, I'm kind of curious what we got going on, because, uh, with the significance of the TVs, I thought we were going to have, like, the TV guy be, like, dragged on, like, he was going to be final boss, but he's, uh, dead now. So I have no idea what the hell, wait, I don't know. Maybe he was just a pawn and there's like some great mastermind in the tower doing the, like the radio broadcast thing. Oh, so if we get something that's got like some weird... So you know what mono means? Um... Like... I'm not sure because the only thing that comes to mind is like, you know, like monochrome. It refers to one. This one. <gasps> oh, so it's a prequel! Oh, that's gonna get my, my head turning for theory time. So Mono is one, and okay, so I'm guessing there must be a connection between his name meaning one and six. The first Nightmares is the second. Ah, I see. That's what you see. Oh, you know what? I can't believe I overlooked the fact of... I can't even believe I was wondering between prequel or sequel and I never thought about the fact like... Oh, she gets the raincoat. Like, oh yeah, that's the raincoat. Uh, oh shit, was I supposed to go through that door? Um... Oh my, what the fuck? Is... Is that... That's where the lore comes from, if it makes sense now. 
Well, yeah, I guess that makes sense, because it's like, okay, you know, she got there in quote one, and it also explains why Six hasn't done any freaky person. Also, speaking of, um, like, is this Six did, like, triangle to call? Uh, I mean, I guess she did get put through the wacky TV world a lot, but, um... Oh my god, what? Well, I mean, if it's a prequel, she'll, she'll walk it off, right? She'll get better. Eh... Uh, sex is bigger, assistant. <laughs> Um. Oh well, uh, y you know, I guess I accidentally bumped into him and then killed me. Um. So hmm, right, okay, big six. Uh. So you're not like evil or threatening, but you might accidentally kill me, and you really don't want me touching that box. Um, I take it I need to like try and get the box from her. Then is that what I'm understanding right? Oh dear, yeah. Something tells me we're gonna have to get upset as we get it ever here. And okay, okay, six. No, no, no. Here, hear me out. Right, art of the deal. Trade offer. Uh, you give me music box that's maybe plot important, I give you... doll. Look, it defies gravity and spins around. This is a pretty rare neat doll. I, th I think you'll... Okay, I guess... Okay, call. Yeah, okay. Did I have to, like, take you with me somewhere? Alright, 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 alright. Easy now. Easy does it. Don't wanna... Accidentally hurt someone. Eh, uh, yeah, because I'm a little bit can. Oh, is it? Yeah, because I'm a smidge confused at the moment. Um, did I maybe throw something at it? Oh, anti gravity. I don't know if that's gonna. Alright, oh, that's just a bear that's floating up there. Um. Right, you don't want me jumping on the box, understandable. There is something in this room you need to- oh, okay. Oh, speaking of fucking things up, um... So, I don't know if it's just me. Oh, wait, I think I see what the game wants. Oh, something tells me this isn't gonna go well. Right, apologies, six, but hammer mean has to hammer. <laughs> no, let me. <laughs> now, you know, we've been buddies, so I hope she ain't gonna be too mad about that. Um. Oh, yeah, I got a. Uh, I gotta go now, I think. Oh god. Oh god, why are you running into a wall? Oh no, this is not the time. Oh, okay. Okay, right. Chase time. No fuck ups. Gotta go. And when I say we gotta go, Mono, we got to go. You're fast! Wait, huh? Did... I wasn't sure if she actually hit me there or not. Whatever, okay, the game said I died, so I died. Um, just gotta be on my A-game. Oh no, this is not me on my A-game. Get in there, Mono. Oh god, hide, hide, hide. 
I did not think I would slide so far. Wait, have I got all in the way with it? That's right, yeah, I totally slipped on a head. You you know mono, slip a little fell, yeah, just you just you going ahead. And unfortunately I think we need to fall or Right, I see an axe on the wall. Oh, can we yoink that? Oh, so I'm just assuming the... Okay, yeah, we just fall through anyway. Because uh, I was going to say, I guess we don't need to do puzzle time. Right, okay, look. Hold on, have we got something we can pick up? Oh yeah, our axe is literally right here. Hold on, before I do anything crazy, I'm going to play with doors a little bit. Just because information on my surroundings is a nice thing to have. Right, so we can do a teleport. I think that will be important later. Oh! Okay, I thought she was going to do the, the slow crawl. This part is all about timing. Uh, okay, I see. We're literally putting everything to the test here. I don't know if I should be carrying the axe, because I think I'm going to have to be very fast after a cop. Wait, hold on, wait, no, I've got an idea. Because let's see the call range. Oh, I'm a, oh, I'm a genius. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold everything. I think I'm having a big brain moment. So how close can I get to refer getting agitated? About there, right. Because here's my plan. So I'm going to call to her, distract her, and then I'm going to pick up Dax, run with it, and try and smash the music box. Hey, hey get being boozled. Oh, yeah, 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 oh, no. Okay, okay, we... I might need to take a few attempts at this to like inch that closer, maybe that is the idea. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on, yeah, I got all. Oh no. Maybe. Oh Mono, why did you not go through the door, son? It was a simple task. Ay ay ay. Fiddliness. Right, chill, chill. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm just a fan of placing axes ra around random dirt powers. Right, we ain't antagonizing nobody, six. Now I'm gonna go over here and immediately contradict myself because he led antagonizing. Yeah, the timing is very, uh... Is, is there something I'm missing to keep her distracted for longer, or...? Or am I just not being fast enough? Bring it a bit closer, just a bit, okay, okay. chill, chill. After alcohol, you need to go through, you're not, f oh my god, so I really need to be fast on this, okay. 
Oh, right, so we'll just go for the door with a collar. Right, I see, I thought I had to maybe wait a bit before she, like, charges. Right, I think I get it now. Right, I'm understanding... I'm getting a better understanding of the gimmick, but, um... Now it comes down to good old execution again, which, uh... Oh boy, we know all about that in this game, don't we? Right, so if I just, like, do... It, like, immediately, yes, she's not even gonna hear me running. Oh! Oh my god, okay, okay, I was so close. I've, I've got it, I see the vision. Okay. Oh yeah, I think that wasn't quite fast enough. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's uh... Yeah, I gotta do that like immediately. Yeah, we're just gonna leap. Holy shit, he flew! <laughs> Fucking the most powerful bitch smack in the world. Holy, my, my boy flying high with that one. See a little try on error, I got it. But also I'm guessing this means more chase time. Oh, dark. E more axes. Thank goodness for all the axes and hammers just left in this tower. What a great convenience. Oh, hold up, right, so we have got four doors now, eh, uh, right, so you two are connected and I'm guessing those top two are also connected, um, oh yeah, so you're just gonna get upset, um, as soon as I try to go up, uh... Oh, my, okay, uh... How well can I distract you? That's what I need to figure out. Oh wait, the cold stuns are... Hold on. Wait, I think I see what I need to do, so I think I need to... Yeah, we'll just leave the axe there for now. Because I think what I need to do is I need to go here, and then call. And then that keeps her busy, so I can... Get the axe. Oh, why are you still holding the axe? Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to get a bit crazy using the call button here, right, so... And then... God, I need to actually put the axe down so I can run fast enough. Or I need to be just faster with the axe, uh... Hold on, let's move you a little away from... The life. Uh, I kind of want you back up here. Yeah, put it No, no, put it down, Moro. <sighs> Dumb. What is Kid doing, right? Ah, uh, 
Okay, fuck it, my plan isn't working, so we'll just try the normal way. Had a good day? Uh Yeah, it's been... Yeah, um... I mean, yeah, it's been an alright day. It's been one of those, like, quiet-ish, like, uneventful days. Not too much going on. Um... So, yeah, it's been a... a well, I say that, I mean, I did get, like, a, a video how you, like, upload it, which is like, okay, I did the thing. But, yeah, it's been a, one of the more just quieter vibing days. Uh, how about yourself, Seal? How, how have you been? In good old, uh, chilling country of Canada. Oh, we're back in this same room again. Alright, and I see the axe is there. Is this the same layout? Of teleporting ray, uh, yeah. So let me figure. You've been okay. Hey, that is good to hear. I am glad to hear the viewers are doing well. Hmm. <laughs> this room is harder than the last one. Yeah, this is a. Yeah, because they've got the axe in the view placement. So it's just figuring out how to have it distracted long enough. Oh, and she gets back to that box fast because she'll just lunge on. You need to take the axe. Okay, home. You don't want it up there. That's your clue. If I take it down, I would go through it. Oh, if I bring it down, then I go through the upper right door. That takes me to the upper left, and I can go there from there. Which means I would need six to be distracted at the bottom right. Right, so we've got to do this like a little bit at a time. So I think what we do is... We distract her here. Uh, take that down. Oh, that's just the way I grow on me. Um, I think that's the idea. I want to say I think I've got the right idea here, so I'm gonna try that again. Hey, chill, chill, chill. Mm, no, maybe that's not the right idea. Unless, can I stun her with the call? Or is she gonna like keep up the rampage? No, okay, okay. No, she'll just say, uh, keep on swinging. Um. If I. Ch I hope you don't. No, I actually appreciate the help, because uh, this would be taking a lot longer otherwise than a. Uh, Oh, you can reach through the door and kill me? Oh, that's terrifying. Uh, you know, like, like I said earlier, I do appreciate, like, the, the gameplay help. Because especially with you, Cielo, you're kind of giving... The way you do it, like, where you're giving me clues but not outright telling me the solution is the kind of thing I'm looking for. So, like, you're doing absolutely perfect. Don't even worry about it. You can get stuck on it for a while. Oh, yeah, her arm really has got the range. Wait, she never even caught me. I, I saw that one and I thought, oh, I must have been caught. Okay. And uh, the fact that she's reaching through the door takes her a while, so... I think that's a factor. Yeah, because that's like four seconds I counted that she's distracted for, and that's quite lengthy. I'm, I'm bringing this much like thought process into it. I mean, you don't give it a arm reaching animation that long for no good reason, surely. Oh, 
giving you that means you still need to figure it the answer, which is still like feeling like you're solving it. Which is all Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Like I'm still figuring it out, I just have like the the, the little clue, the little nudge in the right direction. Which sometimes I need because uh, you know the, the puzzle area it is not my area of expertise. Um Which is kind of funny because it's like, oh yeah, that kind of, you know, that's the, um, you know, reputation of built up on line with media. It's like, oh yeah, I'm the guy that covers action and fighting games, so, uh, you know, this is definitely outside of the, you know, my usual wheelhouse, but, um, you know, variety is the spice of life, you know? And also, I needed a horror game to do for, for Spooky Month. Could have done Dead by Daylight, but um, I, I've kind of done that for the past three years, and well, yeah, I, I don't know. I'm like, yeah, maybe I'll give it a break. I say that, but in my schedule, we're doing a Dead by Daylight on Sunday, so um, you know, people aren't completely free from it. Yeah, you're going your rampage and Hmm Dad try the door frame again. Great one you need to climb, right? I'm noticing she doesn't get aggro when I'm up here at least. Oh, but she get, she'll get aggro too. And then, yeah, she caught up there, so she's gonna do her loud swing. Oh, wait, we might be able to do things right, hold on, we've actually got the axe down here now. Right, now let me think carefully about this, where I want to call her. Wait, no, hold on, I think I've got it. Wait, no, wait, I'm gonna do it. If I just go here, right, what I'm gonna do is if I call her here, teleport and then run up to the upper right door frame. Oh, I don't know. Did I get stuck in something? I don't know why I didn't go through the door frame. But I think I see what the idea is. Because if I go through that door frame, she'll reach for me. But then I just run to the left straight to the music box and I'll get her. Really fast. <laughs> oh, she took the beach. Took the. Okay, that's tricky, but I like that. That's some. Uh, that's a good wee bit of brain power. Yeah, they 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 definitely like, pulled out uh, the stops for crafting a. Funny final boss for this game. I mean, to be fair, it's a miles improvement in front of, um, you know, the the, the geisha, geisha, uh, from the first game. You know, just like, oh, like, let's point a mirror at her and get this done in under a minute. Like now, this is how you do a little nightmares final boss. Oh, so I thought she'd kind of just given up. <laughs> And I thought we were going to do like the dramatic walk off and final hit. Uh, whoops. <laughs> I'm guessing we just got a like collar and then...
Right, I've got the right idea, it's just execution, right. Come on, this is supposed to be like, what I'm guessing is like dramatic final. I might as well try and do it somewhat cleanly. Not done yet. I'm sorry, sex. <laughs> no, no, a fairly quiet day today. <laughs> Been a uh, yeah, got got it easy with the uh, you know getting a wee breather from the editing work uh, for the time being, which is good. You know, did a wee. Oh wait, I'm running the wrong way. Um But then again that's the thing I know like today was gonna be quieter so that's why I what the fuck is that? Holy shit. But yeah no I know today was gonna be quieter, which is why uh you know did the schedule stuff and I'm like, oh yeah, today's a streamable day. Moro, keep running. Moro, Clyde. Well, we've made some mistakes, but didn't get killed for it. We've now been killed for it. Oh, well, okay. Okay, it's a slow. Okay. But now things are good. Although, funny enough, speaking of uh, business, um. Did have some funny work talk with my client, and we are discussing the uh, big plans for uh, December because uh, late December is uh, that is um, one year. How did I not make that jump? But yeah, that's our one year streaming anniversary, which is you know big. And uh, you know I have uh, you know we were discussing how you know good old editor that I am uh, could contribute to that. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna be very busy in December, but I'm looking forward to it because uh, it is. We got a good idea cooking up for what I can do to help, and I am looking forward to it because uh, you know it feels good to be trusted with like. Helping in a big project, uh, you know, it's like, yay! I, I, I'm trusted to really bring creation to life. Um, speaking of life, I like it. You should too, Mono. Oh, it's just the dramatic slow mo. There we go. Right, Mono, come on. Let's go get up. Six? Come on, I have to get back to your normal form. There was no need to be that fucking petty over the music box. I know I've like complimented Six being a savage before, but not to Mono. No, we've... Daddy, we were the killed duo. We, we, we shot a guy, we killed kids together, we were... Man, top 10 anime betrayal shit? So, eh... Uh... Oh, is Mono actually alive? Fuck. Fall damage be damned. Well, oh, and I was just in like the fucking sea of goop. Yeah, I'm just gonna go by Little Nightmares logic. We always move left to right in the, these games. 
No, is that up there? Solution. Well, that was a uh, certainly a development. Oh, so it's like you damn those twisted bastards. The fact that so many times we've used the mechanic of catch, you know, sex will catch you from a leap and then save you, and they they, they turn it on the head at the end. That's a so what, what are we doing? We're standing in the chair. Mono is king of the sludge now or some shit. Oh, we're gonna use this little wacky force pivot or whatever. Reality bane. Actually, yeah, come to think of it, we saw that in the chapter 4, ain't he like got reality bending powers? Like, did Six really just decide to fuck with that? But then again, she never saw us do that, so... Alright, this is a cutscene, we don't do anything. I know, mono betrayal, big oof. So what, he just sits on the chair for the rest of his life, grows up, like this. Did the clothes stretch or something? Because otherwise we're just going to have like, some naked dude in a chair. Man, that betrayal rail must have fucking hit the boy hard. Wait. So he becomes like the next TV guy? Oh, and it's the hallway where we first saw him. So now this is just where he is now. Well, actually, they did have, like, weird wacky powers of the TV, so I guess there's a connection between the two. And he's just grown up to be like him. Wow, that's... I, I'm definitely going to need some time, I think, to wrap my head around the lore, but that's interesting. So... We killed TV Guy, but Mono is now just taking his place in sick, some... Um, well, go, going off to be in the events of the first Long Nightmares game, I guess. Although, I guess some... Um, I was just trying to think, because I remember hearing back in the day that there was... Yeah... Six just left Mono to die and now he's just become... Another... What, what I assume he's become like another TV man, or maybe he's just in that room alone... Waiting for the end to come... 
because the betrayal him that hard. Yeah, that's uh, that's fucking rough. But then again, it's uh, it's interesting because I think you can really get into um, like sexist psychology. Because we see in Little Nightmares 2, obviously she's savage, she doesn't mind getting her hands dirty, right? Helped to shot the hunter, she killed one of the, the kids with her bare hands. Uh, and you know, now we see she's savage enough that she was like willing to like, you know, use and sacrifice Mono, just leave him to die. And then, you know, we see what became of the the first game, you know, she got the, the gaseous powers, um, and she just like massacred the entire restaurant. Uh, wow. That's something so that that I'm actually like, kind of glad that they did that because it's like okay we've got a bit of uh, depth added to six. I wonder if we'll actually see more of six and Little Nightmares three if it's gonna do its own thing. Who knows? Maybe we'll see if anything becomes of Mono. And it's funny because now I'm thinking about it and it's like, the Little Nightmare games do... Um... What is I'm trying to say? Because I remember hearing that there was like, what, short comics of them? Which I've never read and I don't know anything about. And it's like, man, now I'm kind of interested because uh, I kind of want to really... Like, this game has made me kind of interested and like, oh, maybe I want to go a, a little bit deeper into like, Little Nightmare there's lore. I don't know if any of the comics, uh actually touching like the events of this game. But from what I'm figuring out so far, I think everything that we saw in the city, like all the disappearing bodies and the clothes that we saw lying around, that was all connected to like the TV guy and the the radio tower. Now what exactly was doing to them, I don't know, because we saw that some people were addicted to the TVs and had you know, were kind of disfigured a bit, so I guess it like rotted them away. Maybe it, maybe the radio station uh, and the TVs do like a lifesteal and things similar to how uh, you know the, the geisha did the whole lifesteal and thing in Little Nightmares One. Maybe it's like, oh, we have different ways of stealing people's souls. At least that's what I'm kind of. That's what I'm kind of gathering from the plot, that's my kind of like, thought process of the lore. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I've gathered so far. Probably in the future I'm gonna like, maybe dab on like, seeing people who can like, piece the lore together, or see if there's anything like that, that might be interesting. Um, but now the question is, what do as we let the credits roll because um th that's a smidge short for your usual unleashed stream and it's like oh we get to fill the thing with something else but i'm not sure what because i wasn't expecting to do this well through chapter five um so i don't know i'm trying to think like what can i do that takes off about an hour or so you know, funny enough, I did make a similarish comment. I, I did say, like, oh, Slenderman looking ass, because it definitely feels like that. You know, the, the dark suit, the, the tall, you know, slim figure, and the fact that you kind of get the the static effect reminds me of, um, you know, you know, good old Slender. Does it speak to, the eye, fucking hell, I, I'm just, like, talking about Slenderman, and I can feel the, the age. Like, oh man, that's some old stuff. Oh boy, crazy. Um, I, I do actually wonder though, because I could definitely imagine like Slenderman was an inspiration from the design. But it is interesting. But yeah, I need to think how we're going to fill the rest of the time here, because um, I don't want to do Risk of Rain, because that could end up being lengthy, plus I'm saving that for Friday. I'm feeling... I don't know, I'm feeling like hopping on either Get With Your Strife or maybe about an hour or so. Or I could do Monster Hunter. 
do like a SOS stream because it's like man I have not streamed Monster Hunter in a long time and uh, it's been a while it has uh, definitely been a while when I you know I want something a bit chill in my comfort zone you know just vibe with it for a bit Which I don't know, I guess, like, you know, this is usually the sort of thing where I'd maybe put, like, a spontaneous, uh, vote out, um, but it's like, I don't know, it, it's, it's really just, <laughs> you that's been here at Cielo, so, uh, I, I don't know if any of those two options, uh, pique your interest of sticking out, it's like, you know, you can, you, you can say one and I'll just do that, consider that. I, I guess a way of thanks for the help with Little Nightmares, and if neither appeals, um, Strug, I don't know, just spin the wheel. You know, I say that as a joke, but it's like that, wait, hold on. What would you like to try now? I don't know, like I say, I'm jumping between Guilty Gear and Monster Hunter, um, just for something to fill in the hour that I would usually be streaming otherwise. Because I think they both fit the bill. And it's like, oh, I haven't streamed either in a while when it would be, you know, back in my area. Um, yeah, hold on, the credits have gone on and I'm still rambling. Can these be skipped or...? Yeah, I'm not seeing a, a way to skip these and I want to make sure my progress is saved. Which one did you like better? Oh, are you talking about uh, Out of the Little Nightmare games? Um, oh god, hard to say. I... Oh, that's a tough one. I think... See, it's tough. Because I kind of want to say the first one. Because in the second one, I feel that a lot of the enemy encounters were very scripted. I've kind of rambled on about this before. How it's like you need to do a specific thing to get through an encounter or you're going to die. And that's fine. I, I think that's definitely a fine way to do a game. And this game definitely sets up its trial and error good. But I kind of enjoyed the first game where... Especially when dealing with the janitor and the chefs. You did kind of have to plan around them and be smart. But there was also like an element of unpredictability to it where sometimes shit would go wrong and you'd have to wing it. But you were allowed to wing it and you could get away with that. Um, but then also uh, I, th I think about the first Little Nightmares and it's like... I, uh, the the later half of that game isn't really uh, that interesting because the guess is just like avoid them and do a chase scene and the guess is very oh uh, a YouTube streamer I'm guessing um yeah I see interesting um you know I know there's like a rule in my chat that says like no self advertising but honestly oh okay. Honestly, that's just to keep away, like, the wave of, like, generic bots and, the uh, very, like, uh, wave of artists that I've been getting, because I've had all of these, like, oh, graphic design is my passion, uh, uh self-promote time, please check me out, and it's like, man, I've had 50 people that all send these messages, and they all have very similar, like, art portfolios, hmm, smells like cookie cutter shit. Oh, oh yeah, uh, t yeah no, like I was saying, um, no, uh, t sorry, I f fucking rambled on and lost topic. The point I was trying to make is I had that rule to be, uh, to, to basically, like, yeah, that rule's for those people. Uh, CLO, you are, you have been good, vibing, helped me out, and also you were, like, also, you, like, you, at least you're modest when you just mention your Twitch, so it's like, that's fine, the way you're going about it is fine, so don't worry about that. Uh, 
Also, I'm getting curious, what do you stream? Because I'm waiting for like uh, a, a twisted like little nightmare streamer, like pro, <laughs> you know. <laughs> If you're to hit me with some plot twist that you're like a little nightmare speedrunner or something, I am actually gonna flip out. <laughs> well, maybe that's just like my dumb prediction, so don't worry about that. I'm not trying to put pressure on you. <laughs> Black Ops 3, 2, RuneScape, Cold War. Ah, I see. <laughs> it's about the few things I do, or music. Oh, music, okay, you've got my interest, so, uh, okay, I need, to, I need to be that noisy guy, so, uh, what, what is it, is it like, do you play an instrument, or is it like creating music digitally, because, uh, you, you've got my interest. Because, look, Video editor guy who also does like content creation. I I've worked in the creative industry uh, for like a long time, so I get curious when I hear about other people who do like creative stuff that's different from my own. One stream I did this twelve. Oh god, yeah, that's uh. At some point in the future, I've always wanted to do like a big long stream, like a 12 hour or 24 hour stream, but I really need to like plan a day for that shit where I can get away with that, because that's gonna be exhausting. But yeah, no, people who can like pull that shit off and do it well, it's like that's respectable. Oh yeah, also about the. Some of them are 18. Oh, oh so you're just like marathon shit at then? And it's like, oh, marathon in the, the shooters as well, like, uh, oof. Wouldn't see that for me, uh. Right, anyway, hold on, give us a second, I'm gonna spin, uh, the randomizer wheel, so. Randomizer wheel, I've just slotted, the uh, Monster Hunter Iceborne, uh, we've got Guilty Gear Strive, and... Uh, do I want to slot? You may find me, I am... As in, uh, 63. I see. I might actually check that out. I'm, you know, I do like to do a, a bit of snooping curiosity. I am not usually one for the, the shooter games. I mean, like, because I'm terrible at them and it's like, uh, uh But, you know, I might, uh... I might take a peek and... If you want to see some... Or mobile streams. Oh, I see. But I, uh, yeah, you, you're all good. Uh, I'm, you know, I, I can't promise I'll be like super dedicated viewer or stuff because I don't even know kind of the time zones. But um, I'll definitely be snooping around and do a little peek. Uh, anyway, wheel. So do I want to add a third game to the wheel? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let me see. You know, I have. You know, no, we'll just stick it with two, right? I don't stream too much at the moment. Ah, uh, understandable, understandable. Yeah, because with streaming and content creation, it's just about finding the time for it. And... Let's see what you got. Okay, the wheel has landed. We are going to Monster Hunter Iceborne uh, for the rest of the stream, so... Uh, I don't know how this transition is going to work, it might cut off, um, stream might cut off, if it does, do not panic, uh, I will be back up in just a moment. Oh, so I guess since I'm ending the stream, hey, uh, when this comes up on YouTube, uh, YouTube people go to twitch.tv, <laughs> we are absolute chads and we finished Little Nightmares to my community spirit, anyway, stream is going to probably cut off now while I try and get Monster Hunter up. <laughs> 